Ang gabi po, gaya po nang nasabi ni Pastor, inasign po. Kaya hindi po kami makatanggi. Okay. Um, let's turn our Bibles to Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. Basahin lang po natin ulit. This time, starting sa verse uh, 25 ng Luke chapter 10. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, he replied. How do you read it? He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. You answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down to, from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said. And when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The expert of the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. May isa pong sikat na mangaral na nagsabing ito daw pong parable of uh, the Good Samaritan is um, one of the most, if not the most, misunderstood parable. No. And on many occasions, Jesus taught using parables. One of these parables na ituro na po sa atin two weeks ago by Brother Rev, yung two servants last week uh, the, about the kingdom of God, na tinuro po sa atin ni Brother June. Luke recorded the parable of the Good Samaritan. It's only in the book of Luke, if I'm not mistaken, where you can find this parable. Wala po sa ibang libro makikita ang storyang ito. And yun po ang maganda dahil I believe na marami pong parable ang, naisu, ang naikuwento ng Panginoon at iba-iba pong account, iba-iba pong uh, parable ang naisulat ni Matthew, ni Mark, at ni Luke base sa kanilang recall. I believe uh, there were many others that uh, were told by Jesus. And ito lamang po isa doon sa mga parables na itinuro ng ating Panginoon. And one thing that we can notice each time Jesus teaches, among the crowds were scribes, Sadducees, and Pharisees. Those who were called expert in the law of Moses were always present. They were among the people na nakikinig kay Jesus. And so, uh, let's uh, start studying itong ating uh, Itong parable of the Good Samaritan, starting with verse 25. And sabi doon, a certain lawyer. So we know that uh, this person is real. Dahil sabi, certain lawyer. No? And only yung identity niya was hidden. 
And tinanong niya, What shall I do to inherit eternal life? And we can probably say that this lawyer, certain lawyer, is a Pharisee. Dahil yung mga pariseyo lang ang naniniwala sa muling pagkabuhay. So, we can say that this expert in the law is a lawyer. Pero yung kanyang intention to ask this question was really to test Jesus, probably to uh, catch him unaware, no? para meron silang case against him, and eventually they could arrest him. And this question you know, reminds me of another Pharisee who had this same burning question, kaya lang hindi niya because Jesus knew already what was in his heart, si Nicodemus. He was also bothered with the same issue. Siya po ay isang pariseyo, gaya ni uh, Apostle Paul. So instead of answering this expert in the law directly, Jesus answered him with a question. Sabi ng Panginoon, what is written in the law? How do you read it? Ano ba ang nasusulat sa, uh, sa batas? No? Kasi expert naman sila sa Mosaic Law. Paano mo ba nabasa yun? No, parang tayo minsan, kapag uh, tinanong tayo, pag may ginagawa tayo sa bagay, and then uh, obvious naman, minsan nasagot natin, ano ba sa tingin mo itong ginagawa ko? No? So, Jesus was very wise to ask him a question, to answer him with a question. So the Pharisee who knows the law, in verse 27, answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. Quoting Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5, and Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. This summarizes uh, lahat po ng law. First is to love the Lord your God with all your heart and then your neighbor. Ganun din po kung titignan natin yung Ten Commandments. The first part is about loving God and yung second part is about loving your neighbor. And in verse 28, And he said to him, sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. Gawin mo to and you will live. Mabubuhay ka. And that is why uh, nasabi po kanina na this parable is one of the most misunderstood uh, parable na binanggit ng Panginoon dahil if we go back dun sa verse 25, the reason why ikinwento ito is because yung expert in the law, yung pariseyo, ask about eternal life. Ayun e talaga yung uh, question niya to test Jesus. So, yung pariseyo, no, because he does not know exactly yung condition na meron siya, dahil itong pariseyo, no, meron silang may pagka-self-righteous. The first part of yung commandment, he does. He loves the Lord He uh, with all his heart. Pero yung pangalawa na part ng commandment is may problema siya dun, Which is about loving your neighbor. Because he is self-righteous. Ganun naman ho talaga kasi ang mga pariseyo. Medyo ano sila eh, um, separatist. They love to be among Pharisees or with Jews. Kaya sinabi niya, nang siguro may pagmamalaki, eh, maybe you know more about this. And who is my neighbor? Paliwanag mo. No. So Jesus told this story, sa verse, starting sa verse 30. And a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. He fell among robbers who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Ayon po sa aking uh, narinig, no? itong 
daanan daw nito uh, ay napakadelikado. And even until after Jesus' time, marami rin pong nagaganap na krimen uh, dito itong, along this way. And sabi doon, by chance a priest was going down that road and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. Ito po ay, uh, to be honest, no, ginagawa natin. Madalas nating gawin. No. Kapag uh, meron tayo nakitang, sabi natin, sakuna sa daanan. Just uh, two weeks ago, habang I, I leave Antipolo quite early, and while driving, marami akong along the way, Makakasal, makakasalubong na namamalimos. And kapag ka namamalimos, kasabay ko yung isang ka-office mate ko, nagkakwentuhan kami. And nabanggit namin to, tong kwento na to. Ay, hirap siguro, no? Uh, hindi mo alam kung yung tinutulungan mo ay totoo o gimmick lang. And ganun dang kwentuhan namin, na papalapit na kami sa Lakeview, papunta na ng uh, sukat, may isang portion doon na dinadaan namin na may tulay, actually, ah, hindi pala tulay, may, may rile sa taas. You go under, under that uh, railroad. And on the other side, may nakita kami taong nangingisay. So, nagtingin na lang kami. Sabi na, <laughs> ano gagawin natin? He, by the way, yung kasama ko, Christian din. <laughs> so, na, na, ano gagawin natin? <laughs> But we, want, we went on our way. And dito sa kwento na to, probably, as yung expert of, uh, uh, in the law, yung pariseo was hearing this, no, parang siguro may expectation siya na, okay, priest, and then a Levite. No? Um, ano kaya ang gagawin itong mga to? But just as we are, no, na takot, probably, we passed by. And marami rin hong akong nabasa na may mga speculations kung bakit na ginawa ito nitong dalawa, no? nung priest and yung Levite. But uh, wala pong ibang dahilan. Kwento lang po kasi ito. Wala silang ibang iniisip. Walang, walang ibang justification for what they did na nilampasan nila. And laking gulat na lang po siguro nitong pariseyo na yung ikatlong tao na babanggitin ng Panginoon ay isang Samaritano. And alam po natin ang tingin ng mga hudyo. Lalong-lalo uh, na, palagay ko ang mga pariseyo sa isang Samaritano. Na itong Samaritanong ito, no, and when uh, he saw that uh, Jew, he had compassion. Uh, of all the people, yung priest, should have known kung ano dapat ang tamang gawin. Ganon din yung Levite. So here comes a Samaritan. We know that yung Samaritans were looked down by the Jews. Also comes into mind yung, Sam- yung Samaritan dun sa well. Sabi ni Pastor kanina yun. <laughs> Samaritan woman. So nagulat. <laughs> ang alam ko, good Samaritan. Anyway, it also brings into mind itong Samaritan woman. That when he encountered Jesus, sabi niya, what do you have to do with us, Samaritans? You're a Jew. Pero this Samaritan had pity doon sa tao. Parang tayo, we also pity. Uh, kaya lang uh, those people na who are unfortunate, kaya lang wala tayong magawa. But this person did something. Sabi, he went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring oil and wine, and he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, take care of him and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come back. Now, talking about being good 
and loving your neighbor as yourself. Yung ginawa nitong Samaritano doon sa Hudyo na ninakawan, binugbog, is something that he would do to himself. Parang, grabe no, he, he pampered <laughs> kung ano, ginamot, poured oil on his body and wine, pinasakay sa sariling animal, probably a donkey, dinala sa inn, may accommodation, and took care of him. Exactly what uh, God wants us to do to our neighbors. Doing uh, good to our neighbor. Loving them as you love yourself. And the next day, he took out two denarii and gave him to the innkeeper saying, Take care of him and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come back. Accommodation fully paid. And according doon sa aking nabasa, yung amount na binigay nitong Samaritan will last about two months worth of stay doon sa inn. And kung kulang pa, sabi, when I come back, babayaran ko. I will repay. Uh, meron pang somewhat opportunity for corruption itong ano kung gagawin niya yung innkeeper kasi sabi what ever babayaran niya maaring itong samaritano had a, a very important ano ko lang ito uh, niisip ko lang sa kwento ano had a very important thing to do pero he had to go out of his way to help yung uh, Jew na pinagnakawan Now, going back to the lawyer, tanong ni Jesus, Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? And he said, sabi nung pariseyo, the, the one who showed him mercy. And Jesus said to him, You go and do likewise. At this point, may mga napansin yung mga ating nagbibigay ng comments yung mga authors ng mga commentary about this fantasy. And at this point, meron pa ring pride in his heart dahil he could have said yung Samaritan. Pero instead, ang sinabi niya is the one who showed mercy. Parang hindi niya pa mabanggit. He couldn't even mention the Samaritan. Ang sa kanya is the one who showed mercy. So doon sa nangyaring ito, doon sa unang dalawang uh, dumaan doon sa tao. Uh, Di ba this is most of the time, the way we act kapag ka mayroong nangailangan ng tulong sa kalye. This is what most likely ginagawa natin every time may nangainangan ang na, na, na tao sa kalye. So the question is, are we or are you a good neighbor? And kung titignan nyo po, kung yan po ang kondisyon ng Panginoon nung mga para ikaw ay maligtas, di po ba ay napaka- Hirap, mahirap pong sundan yung example nung Samaritano, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. At uh, mabuti na lamang po na we are no longer under the law at gumawa po ang Panginoon ng paraan kung tutuusin ay napakadaling paraan na para po makamit natin ang eternal life. Because He died for us in place, no? no? Na instead na tayo ang maparosahan, Siya maparosahan. And by accepting what He did on the cross, 
yan po, we will inherit eternal life. So ito lang po ay ang example na, na po, uh, ng Good Samaritan na to. This is the reason why it was told in the first place is about eternal life and how the Pharisee, the Pharisee will inherit eternal life. Kaya lang, napakahirap po gawin. Even kung iyan po ang gagawin pala natin, ano, to inherit eternal life, napakahirap po. So we praise God that um, He did something that would give us eternal life, that would merit eternal life, and that is by merely accepting what He did on the cross for us. So, uh, in conclusion, yan na po ang aking conclusion <laughs> sa gabing ito. And we thank God, we praise God for His work on the cross, and God bless us. <laughs>